In this video, I will make this earth rotating globe, one in, in solid colour and another one with a transparency. So we load up in a GIMP. You need a black and white image and there's a link in the description below on where to find this black and white image. It's in a GIF file which gives it a different extension. So we need to go to image and the mode. You can see there it has an extension of index. Well, it's built into an index, so I need to click on the RGB, red, green and blue, and it puts a color channel in it for me. The other thing I need to do now is change the image into a square. So I go to image and click on image, scale image. I break the chain and I highlight the height and type in what the width is, which is 480 and then click on scale. Now it looks a little bit odd. Now I go to my select by color tool and click in the black area. Now I go to my blend tool and put some color in there and I choose the yellow to orange blend. And I just drag it across, just drag it across the color and put the color in there. Now I go to select, I invert my selection Click on the foreground colours and choose a blue and then click OK. Go to your bucket fill tool and click this radio button, fill whole selection. That's so it fills the lakes and, and channels in that image. So I'll click in there. Now we'll go to select and select none. Now we go to our filter. We go to filters, animation, and spinning globe. Now the script loads down on the taskbar, just click on it and bring it up into view. Now it says there 10 frames, it's far too fast for our image to be visible. So we need to type in 30 there, just highlight it and type in 30. And it rotates the wrong way, so you click this uh, checkbox there, turn from left to right and then click OK. Now it takes a little while to render all the images, which is 30 of them. So I'll pause this video and come back when it's finished the rendering. The filter builds the animation in a new window. So we go to now, go to filters and see what we have. We go to animation and playback. In the playback you click play and your globe rotates at 30 frames per second. Click on play again to stop. Close it off. Now we need to save our image. We go to file and we export it. And it needs to be a GIF file. We need to type in the extension GIF. We highlight that and type in GIF, G-I-F, which retains our animation. We give it a name, we just call it Globe. Now it realises it's got multiple frames and it asks, do you want to make it animation? Just put a check in that box as animation and then export and the job's done. Now we close that one off. We're back to our first layout. So we put our go to the uh, we go to the image in the layers channel. Right click on it and add an alpha channel. Go to my select by color tool and select all the blue. And then just hit the delete key on the keyboard and we remove all that. We go back to select and turn off the selection. And we go to filters. Back to animation and spinning globe and it still remembers the uh, what we laid in before and we just click OK once again it takes a while to render it so I'll pause the video now our global world looks strange but we go to filters animation and playback now we have our transparency globe click on play and now you can see how transparency it is. The uh, the blend tool, you can see there, Africa goes real dark and then it becomes 
lighter when it gets around the other side. I think that's caused by the blend tool. The same thing applies when saving. You just go to file and export it as a GIF file. Just uh, type in world 2 globe just type in globe 2 and then click export you will find a link in the description below to a website with a PDF instruction sheet on all this